What is up my G's and welcome to Grounded 1.0 Day 4. Today I unlocked three new mutations. I'm going to be trapping and killing wolf spiders, unlocking tier 2 tools and the insect bow, as well as farming berries, some milk molars, and then a little bit of base expansion. So let's go. I logged in and had some unexpected company, but our trusty Pebble Dagger took care of him real quick. I made a Dewcatcher. And if we're going to be hunting wolf spiders, we're going to need a bow of some kind. I really didn't want to craft a crude bow. It's not like it's expensive. But we're going to need something, so I made a bow. I made a bunch of arrows. And grabbed my bee armor that we found in the red anthill because the full set gives you a chance to bow stun, which is going to be pretty big. Over at the oak tree now, we're going to need some dandelions for the weed stem to start building our wolf spider traps. And basically we're just going to put up weed stem windows and make walls to trap the wolf spiders underneath the middle of the oak tree. You can see one there. I think there's five holes you're going to want to cover. While I was out harvesting weed stems, I noticed this stink bug and thought I need stink bug parts, so... Everything was going pretty well until... Yeah, I'm not fighting both of those at once. We'll just let them blow off some steam for a minute. The wolf spider ended up pulling out the dub, so I went to go get my free stink bug parts, but unfortunately, he wasn't done yet. I noticed it was at about half health from its fight with the stink bug, so I thought this might be the chance to finish it off. And so yeah, you're just going to want to find these holes all around the oak tree and kind of barricade the wolf spiders in the middle. Okay, now this one is a little bit different. It's over, you'll see a milk molar there. And there is a wolf spider spawn there. So from the leaves above, if you build a wall straight across like I'm doing here, you can trap that guy in and that is a respawn point so it's right above the oak tree north of it uh, you're gonna want to do that one as well the next one is just to the left of Burgle's lab that's Burgle's lab right there so just to the left and up here there's a little opening here you're gonna want to block this one as well And with all of the walls in place, let's test it out and see how it works. Full disclaimer, it actually worked way better than intended, as you will see coming up here.
Now, here's the part that really surprised me. I've made this trap before, but you couldn't get close to them like this. They would still bite you through the wall if you got too close. So the point was to kind of just stand back and shoot through the windows with the bow. But for some reason this works, so we're running it. This was actually pretty big. We got the spider fang, the spider venom, and the mutation mithridatism, however you say that, which basically once activated gives you poison resist. Alright, and then ideally you want to place these so that you can just kind of duck down and crawl through. Unfortunately, I kind of placed them wrong, so I just took a piece out. No big deal. Come in, collect your arrows, come back out, and rebuild the wall. Over to the outer wall under the leaves by the milk molar and rinse repeat. Just an FYI, I would not rely on being able to melee. This is kind of surprising to me. I would count more on being able to just shoot them through the holes with the bow like this. This works. The melee thing was a bit of a surprise to me. I don't know. Definitely wouldn't trust and rely on that as being a method. You're probably going to want to shoot them with bows. And again, jumping down to collect their arrows because they are not cheap. Analyze the spider fang and spider venom. <laughs> And then let's equip the new mutation because that'll be huge against not only spiders, but it will help you over in the haze. You won't need a gas mask if you have this perk maxed. Now taking a look at the insect hammer and the insect axe, we're going to need some berry leather. So we're going to have to go over to the hedge pretty soon here. And we're also going to need a boiling gland and a ladybug head, which we don't have yet. We do, however, have everything we need for the insect bow. That's the tier 2 bow. So let's get that crafted and equipped immediately. I stepped outside. I know a couple spots where you can find ladybugs, but luckily right out my front door there was one here. easy. Unfortunately, he did not give me the ladybug head that I was looking for. This is how the Duke Collector works. Like I said, it just collects beads of water and you just drink it for free. It'll replenish itself every so often as well. Uh, next, we're going to head over to this area because this is where you can usually find a ladybug, sometimes two even. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I still need berry leather and a boiling gland for the insect hammer. However, that should be everything now I need for the insect axe. Which is way better than the pebble axe, so again, we're going to want to craft that and equip it ASAP. So in your crafting menu, on the far right, the leaf there, uh, basically everything that you have analyzed, it will tell you where to find it. So I'm looking for boiling glands, turns out it comes from bombardier beetles, which live right underneath my rock, so let's go pick a fight. And there it is. Perfect. I still need berry leather, which means I obviously need berries, which is going to be over in the hedge, which is far southeast of the map down in this area here. But on the way, I just wanted to show this real quick. This is where it is on the map. You can see the water, the swampy kind of, and then there's the island in the middle. I said before you can find gnats during the day, this is one of the places you're going to want a bow to shoot them down with, but... And then, moving on from there, from that spot, if you look to the right and follow the shoreline, you're going to come around until you find a specific leaf. And it's not far, it's right there. So here it is on the map, again there's the swampy area, there's that little island in the middle, it's pretty much straight west, there's the hedge there, and you're going to want a slime lantern, which is why I kind of went and explored the pond a little bit, because I knew I was going to need this. You dive down, there's a tunnel, you're going to follow the tunnel through, and when you get to the end you will find... The four leaf clover, which will give you Coupe de Gras mutation, which increases your critical hit chance. I didn't notice this on the way in, but on the way out I did. There's a scabby right there. Make sure you grab that. And then we're going to come to the hedge area. There's the bird bath right there. And now, if you look around, you can see berries up in the trees. Really easy to get. All you're going to want to do is take out your bow and shoot the berry. That's going to knock it down from the tree, and then you can run up and harvest it. I've got enough berries for now, so I'm going to head home, but before I do, I'm going to set a lean-to. I'm not going to set the respawn point, I'm just going to put it there for now, because we are going to be doing the hedge and lab probably next video. On the way home, of course, make sure we analyze the berries. And we've now unlocked level 8 brain power. Alright, so having the berries isn't enough. We actually need berry leather. And in order to do that, we're going to need a jerky rack to dry it out on. So let's make one of those. We need bombardier beetle parts and crude rope.
so now we got our dew collector and jerky rack out front super easy just put in the berries and in time it will dry out into berry leather while I'm waiting for the berries to dry out, I decided to finish a couple daily quests that I have, which included killing soldier ants and killing weevils. Weevils can be found in different places, but one place that's really good to find them is over by the oak tree. And I figured while I was here, we might as well grab some more wolf spider materials as well. Which got us to Mithridatism level 2. Back at home, I'm gonna collect the berry leather, place some new ones, and craft myself a tier 2 insect hammer. Since I used my last boiling gland, for the insect hammer, I know I'm going to need some more coming up pretty soon, so I decided to harvest a couple bombardier beetles living right underneath my rock. And craft myself a cookery, which is a newer item. This is where you make better food. As you can see there, that's gnat jerky. So you can hang berry leather, you can hang pupa, there's different types of food. All can go in the jerky rack. Um, also decided it was probably time to get a grinder up, so I did that. Making sure to have the spinning wheel running at all times. And I'm not going to get into all the things that the grinder does right now. There's going to be some more unlocks before I really want to explain that, but it's good to have one. And now I'm going to unlock the fresh defense mutation. How you do that is, now that we have the insect hammer, we can break the mint. You can use the mint to imbue into weapons, and I think gear as well. Gives you fresh attack on whatever weapon you put it in. Um, that's not what I'm going to be doing right now. What I'm going to be doing is eating them. And for the tears, this is how you get fresh defense mutation. And for the tiers 1, 2, and 3, I believe you eat 3 pieces, 5 pieces, then 10 pieces. Those numbers might not be exactly right, but it's something like that. So I ate 3, that unlocked level 1. There's level 2. And then level 3. And what that does... There's Coupe de Gras, critical hit chance. Now, the fresh defense gives you gas resistance, burn resistance, and sizzle protection. Pair that with the poison resistance from Mithridatism, and we're going to be doing pretty well. We're going to be a lot stronger with all that resist now. Don't forget to analyze it on the way home. And also on the way home, I decided to go down into the anthill again to get some of the tier 2 stuff that I wasn't able to get before I had the insect hammer. Gonna jump down the hole for the sturdy quartzite and the mint pieces that were down here. Also, in the anthill, sometimes you can find some food. Here's some apple bits for free. And since I'm on my way out anyways, I decided to grab a red ant egg and take it for analyzing. Hey. 
And don't forget the ASL machine is where you get daily quests, you spend your raw science, and also your milk molars. Get yoked. And then here are the gold mega milk molars. I finished my other daily quests, so let's grab three new ones. These are actually all trail markers, and I know where they all are, so this will actually be easy. And I am looking for one specific. I'm looking for the birdbath trail marker before I go over to the hedge, because I'm going to be up in the hedge to get that as well, so I kind of want to have it active before I leave. To make the brat burst, I need fungal growth, which I don't have. I do have the red ant, ant egg, but I'll find the fungal growth over in the haze, which I'm going to go to soon. But for now, I don't want the egg hatching in my base, so I'm going to get rid of that until I get some fungal growth from the haze, which I will be going to fairly soon, especially now that I have mithridatism. Starting to run out of storage room in my base so I'm going to expand a bit I'm going to make this my sleeping quarters and I'm going to make the original base just basically a warehouse now and back at the oak tree I'm going to go get the hidden milk molar under the pop can there again now that I have the insect hammer the tier 2 hammer I can crack these and collect them And time for some upgrades. You need three milk molars for the max active mutations, which I really want, but there are some helpful things along the way. Um, raw science, 3800. Meat shield's not a bad one to get at all, but I opted to go with the canteen upgrade and the torch upgrade because I think those are going to be more helpful for now, I can only have two mutations. The ones I'm using are Mithridatism and Fresh Defense, so that's all I can use for now anyways. And don't forget when you're down here, the battery room. Over to the left, there's the Mega Milk Molar, so you're going to want to collect that as well. few different options, max consumable stack size, max resource stack size, and max arrow stack size. Uh, I really like the arrow stack size, but I'm going to go with resource because that just makes it so that each slot can hold more, so you're going to be able to hold more in your storage bins and in your inventory, stuff like that, so that's probably the most useful for now. And that was about it for today. That's a pretty big day. Tomorrow, um, either going to go to the hedge or I might go over to the haze. I'm not sure which one, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in and GG's.